This next round is all about sport. In July, Liverpool won the Premier League title for the first time in 30 years. A fact you'll know if you've spoken to a scouser for more than 30 seconds this year. <laughs> in October, Lewis Hamilton broke the record for the most F1 wins of all time. It's an incredible achievement, particularly when you think about how many times his car is randomly pulled over by the police. <laughs> Hardly any football games have had crowds since March. So if there are any Premier League referees watching, I just want you to know, on behalf of all fans, everyone still thinks you're a wanker. <laughs> Time for some sporting questions. OK, um, first up, it's over to sporting legend Chris Kamara. Evening, Jimmy. The best thing about 2020 for me was releasing my latest Christmas album. And a happy new year. And I reckon South Korean football club FC Seoul will be wishing for a happier year next year after they were given a record fine of $81,000 back in May. But can you tell me what the fine was for? Don't, like, say you've got a Christmas album out and then sing awfully immediately in order to advertise it. <laughs> Big up Chris, though. Big yeah. up Chris. So he wants to know why South Korean football club FC Seoul got fined $81,000 back in May. Why? I have absolutely no Here's idea. Here's the clue. No one was allowed in the stands back in May. Do it. You go. I'm off. OK. Back in February, Tyson Fury beat Deontay Wilder to the WBC heavyweight crown. All I want to know is, how did Tyson Fury celebrate his victory in the ring after his post-match interview? So, he got interviewed in the ring afterwards. He did something for two minutes. Oh, it was extraordinary God, yeah. and weird and very Tyson Fury. <laughs> he's written a... He's a silly boy, isn't he? He's quite a silly boy, isn't he? Silly boy, Richard Iward. OK. Brazilian footballing legend Ronaldinho was jailed for 32 days back in March for having a fake passport. During his time in prison, he played football, won a match and won a prize. All I want to know is, what unusual prize did he win? So he got sent to prison for 32 oh, days, know. went to prison, played a bit of football in there and won a prize. What did he get for winning a match in prison? OK. This is Laura Clark. This photo of her was widely circulated and she became the centre of attention in the sporting world back in September. All I want to know is why. I know nothing about sports. I think I know... What happens in September? What happens in September? Yeah. Sporting-wise. <laughs> in September, England and Tottenham player Eric Dyer posted this image to his Instagram with the caption, The real man of the match... Why? But you could work this one out. It's very attractively presented, isn't it, with the, t with the toilet roll there and... There's the discarded toilet roll on the side, which is a concern. <laughs> Are you ready for answers? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah. OK. Chris Kamara asked you if you knew why South Korean football team uh, FC Seoul were fined $81,000. Did you know? Did they use two footballs? <laughs> no, but it's a great idea to brighten up the game. Wouldn't it? Easier to score a goal if there's two of them. Easier to be scored against as well, really, though. When well, you not if you it. keep hold of them. <laughs> and what did you, um... Well, Richard started it and asked me to finish it. He put, they filled the stands, and I put, with piss. <laughs> uh, no. James, Stacey? Well, you said that they put something in the stands that uh, disrupted yeah. it, so we put lovers. I'm going to give you a point for that. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> They couldn't have spectators, so they used adult dolls. They uh, basically used sex dolls uh, uh, to fill the stand. So, I mean, lovers. You put it very politely. Lovers. They are lovers. There they are. <laughs> I asked you if you knew what Tyson Fury did to celebrate his win against Deontay Wilder. Uh, what, what did you think he did in the ring? The okey-cokey. You think he did the okey-cokey yeah. in the ring? Oh! <laughs> how, how does it go? Whoa! Whoa. That's, that's only when ghosts sing it. <laughs> oh, well, what did you put? He touch typed. <laughs> <laughs> He's a silly boy. You are a very silly boy. He didn't touch type because. Um... Oh, he probably didn't have the time. <laughs> uh, what, what did you think he did in the ring? What did we put? Well, you suggested that he. You said he likes his dad and he likes dancing. He loves reggae. And he reggae. Loves I didn't put reggae. Reggae. I said he did a dance and shouted in his dad's face. Yeah. That was <laughs> one of your suggestions. Yeah. You know what? Out of all the families I've ever seen on telly, Kardashians, whoever, the Tyson family is one I would love to be a part of. I feel like I'd blend. 
perfectly into. He's quite a crazy guy. I mean, I, yeah. I mean if, he, if I ever meet him, I'll tell him. <laughs> I can tell you, he sang American Pie for two minutes yeah. like a lunatic. A long, long time ago, I can still remember how that music used to make me smile. Good old boys were drinking whiskey and rock, singing, This will be the day that I die. What? This will be the day that I die. But then I'm in love with you, cause I saw you dancing in the gym. We both kicked off our shoes. <laughs> Well, who's going to stop him? Do you know what it is? Every clip I see of them, it makes me love them even more, cos I'm like, look at you. All you want to do is love your wife and have some kids and have a nice time. Yeah. Like... I'll tell you what, he's, he's very similar to David Mitchell. He is. <laughs> you know, so, you know, exactly. you've had a rock. So you know what you're like when you've had a ruck and then you start a sing-song? <laughs> you know what you're like, David. Well, you yeah, know what you're like. It's the only thing to do with all the excess adrenaline, isn't it, when you've punched a few people unconscious? <laughs> <laughs> I asked you uh, if you knew what Ronaldinho got for winning a prison football match. What do you think? An enormous cigarette. <laughs> it's like a currency in prison. <laughs> cigarette. James and Stacey? Keys to Shawshank. <laughs> the keys to Shawshank. Yeah, we thought he probably got the key... Maybe he was in Shawshank. Yeah. And for doing well at the football or whatever he did, they gave him keys to Shawshank <laughs> as a present. It is not as crazy as the answer. What did you get, Joe, Richard? BAFTA. BAFTA. <laughs> he did not get a BAFTA. He got a 16 kilogram suckling pig. <laughs> in wow. jail. Wow. So in his trophy cabinet now, he has the World Cup, the Champions League trophy, uh, the Ballon d'Or, the FIFA World Player of the Year twice, and a, a suckling pig. Oh, he should really put it outside. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you why Laura Clark became the centre of attention in the sporting world back in September. What, are you, what have you written there, David? Djokovic hit a tennis ball at her. That is the right answer, but I'm interested, James and Stacey, you remember it differently. Well, you said September is a clue. You That's... said yeah. what happens in September, so we were like, oh, it's like, it's um, sports day, egg and spoon race. <laughs> egg and spoon champ. You know, they, they would always do, like, a parent She race. does look as if she's doing an egg she and spoon. She looks like she's doing egg and spoon. Mm. She's just been hit in the neck with a tennis ball. High speed, and then they, they disqualified Djokovic. Uh, Richard, what have you got? She got hit by a tennis ball. That is the right answer. Yeah. Point. Weird time for the guy on the left to propose, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to know why footballer Eric Dyer posted this image to his Instagram with the caption, the real man of the match. Uh, James and Stacey? He, he married, married a, a toilet. toilet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, incorrect. Uh, Joe, Richard? I don't know sport. Very mm. well, but is it possible that a toilet came on the pitch and scored a goal? <laughs> <laughs> I will not dignify that with an answer. Uh, Maya? David's going to take this one because this answer was something you were really passionate about, wasn't yes, it? Yes, he got the shits. <laughs> That's a correct answer, you get a point for that. He uh, ran off the pitch mid-game to defecate and, uh, and then came back on and, uh, and did very well, got man of the match. But have we confirmation that he had loose stools? <laughs> I mean, he could have, have run the... off the pitch and just done a sort of normal, perfectly firm turd. Just a little mm. rabbit poo, In which isn't case, it? my answer would not be correct. <laughs> yes, it's just come in, you get half a point. There we go. It's now time to step away from uh, sport for Say What You See. So all, all you've got to do is say what you see in the pictures and it'll give you a headline from the year. So say what you see as quick as you can. Oh, yeah, it's, it's the whole... It's one phrase. So balls, oh, ward... Something ward, ton... Maya, you should get this, cos this is Bristol-related. Yeah, I know, don't put pressure on me. Yes! I got it. OK, great, write it down. Write it down. Bristol-related, that's the clue. Taken down. We got it. Uh, OK, uh, James Acaster, I've never seen you this excited. <sighs> I finally found what I'm good at in my life. Yeah. And yeah. it's this. OK, uh, what have you got, James? Edward Colston statue taken down. Yes, oh, over. Colston, oh, I'm back! Statue. <laughs> Edward Tun taken down, so no points. Points, points. Yeah, very lovely. good. Edward Coles Tun statue taken down. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Let's take